What's up guys, today I'm going to do a little what's in the bag video for y'all. Um, I mostly have Callaway clubs, but I'll kind of get into that. I'll start with the low clubs today and just kind of work my way up. Go ahead and start with the 56 degree here. So my 56 degree wedge, it's not a very popular wedge, it's an MP T10 Mizuno 56 degree wedge. I've had it for a pretty long time, it also needs cleaned a little bit. The grip on this wedge is the Golf Pride Multi Compound Grip. It is a mid-size grip, the red and black, and I actually have this grip on all of my irons currently. The grooves are wearing down quite a bit. I actually have a brand new Titleist Vokey wedge in my bag that I won at a tournament a couple months ago, but I'm not putting that in the bag until probably April of next year. That way it's good to go for the summer. But this is doing well for me for now um, throughout the offseason. Next we've got my irons. I have the Callaway Apex Pro 19 irons. I actually got these about three or four months ago. So they're fairly new. Um, I love the feel of the Callaway clubs. I'm just going to go ahead and grab my 5-iron here just to kind of show how they look and everything. I really like the look of the outside of them, and the setup is perfect for me. The lie on these irons is bent to plus 2, so they're more upright than standard. Um, that's just because I actually set up a little bit more upright than most people. So if I have a normal club that's not bent, I'll tend to hit it on the toe more often than not, and I still do tend to hit it off the toe slightly, but... Having the irons bent for me definitely has improved my ball striking. The shafts on my irons are the Dynamic Gold X100 shafts, so they are extra stiff. They're just an overall good looking iron for me at setup, um, and they're pretty modern too. So, Next I have my 3 iron, it's a 712U Titleist iron. It's not bent 2 degrees, so I'm probably going to have it taken out of the bag pretty soon, just because I've been struggling a little bit with it. Next in my bag is a utility club. It's an Adams 20 degree hybrid. I have been loving this thing. It's pure off the face whenever you hit in the sweet spot and it has a really nice trajectory too. I really like the setup of the hybrid. I'm actually not a huge hybrid guy, but the setup of this one and just the feel off the face of it, I really enjoy hitting it, especially off the deck. It's really good out of the fairway. It's got a Fujikura Pro series shaft and it's also extra stiff. There's only about a 5 or 10 yard difference between the utility club and that 3 iron that I just showed you, so that's another reason that I'm taking that 3 iron out of the bag most likely and replacing it with something else. Next is my 3 wood. It's a Callaway XR 3 wood. I've had it for a few years and I really like it. It only has a stiff shaft in it, which is fine. Uh, my club head speed isn't to the point where I absolutely have to have an extra stiff shaft, so I can still get away with having this club. I love the trajectory of the 3 wood and I'm able to keep it low pretty easily into the wind which is a really nice thing to have with the 3 wood. It has a speeder 765 shaft in it which kind of promotes that lower ball flight and it also has that same grip as my irons. And now on to my baby. I've had this thing for a little less than a month. It is a Callaway Epic Flash Driver. It's the Sub-Zero Head. The shaft is the T1100 Hazardous Handcrafted Shaft. This shaft promotes low spin. Um, it's only 65 grams, so it's not super heavy, but it is extra stiff as well, along with my irons. I tried something different. I have the wind dry tack grip. It's just standard. My hands tend to sweat a lot whenever I'm out golfing, especially in the summer, so having that dry tack grip has actually been really nice for me. I don't feel like the club's ever slipping out of my hands, and I actually like the overall feel of it too. This driver isn't just a normal Epic Flash driver, though. It's custom. It has the Sub-Zero head, and I customized the coloring on it. The standard Callaway Epic Flash Driver is the green and yellow head, um, but I customized it to where this area is black, and then the stripes on the side of it are actually red, along with kind of the two pieces in front. And then the wording, the flash, is red as well. So I really like the look of that. And instead of the little yellow and green stripe on top of the head, it's just black and white. The degree on the driver is 9 degrees, and it's just standard length. I tend to hit the ball pretty high with my driver, with more spin than average, so this driver promotes a lower launch and lower spin, which works out perfect for me. Whenever I hit this thing in the sweet spot, it's borderline orgasmic. And it's probably the most valuable club I've ever had in my bag. Last but not least is my putter. It's a TaylorMade EST79 blade putter. I've never been a big mallet putter guy, so I really like the style of this head. I have a Stroke Lab 2.0 mid slim grip on it. My hands are pretty active in my putting stroke, so this grip helps neutralize that a little bit. It's a fairly old putter. I think it came out in like 2011, and it's a little banged up. I'm planning on getting the Odyssey Stroke Lab putter in the same style head around the same time I'm going to put that wedge in the bag, so probably like April. Overall, I putt pretty well with this putter. It sets up well for me. 
I'm the type of putter that likes to feel the head opening and closing through impact, so this style head works really well for me. I hope you guys enjoyed my what's in the bag video. I'm planning on doing a video where I hit all of my clubs and you guys kind of see my distances and everything. So that'll be coming in the future, but thanks for watching.